If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm back with the July edition of the Diamond Heart Darlings collab with Poet Spice here on YouTube. We do this collab every second Friday of the month for the year 2022 and the purpose is for us to make projects that are using products from Diamond or Diamond Press, Little Darlings or LDRS and or Heartfelt Creations or any combination thereof. Because I have so many Diamond Press sets, that's been my primary focus. Although I have done Heartfelt Creations and Little Darlings here and there. Um I have planned to have all three this time and life has thrown a little curveball um, so I really have not had much time this week at all. Um, they're actually the last three weeks so um, I did a quick project and I'm using Diamond Press but this project is something that um, will that has some versatility I want to show you um, just mentioned. But anyway, I'll show you what I used. And if I did not mention it before, which I don't think I did, I will have the links to the other ladies who are in this collab down below. So I used this Com Cosmic Shimmer Aurora Flakes. And this one is the Jade Gold. So it's green. Sorry for the glare with gold. I used this um, pack of little tiny flower embellishments, and I've had this now for years. I think I got this at um, the first or the second scrapbook expo I ever went to. Um, it was one in Milwaukee, I believe. And then I used this diamond press set, and this is an old, old diamond press set that I have pulled out. This was back before they had the marquee, which is the wider uh, machine. This is only when they had the little skinny machine. Um, but this is a shaker kit. And so um, there's various elements that you can use to make shaker cards. There's two sets of dies. And then it even makes confetti for you. And then there's also two sets of stamps. And I did use the snowman face. But those are the two sets of stamps that came with it. So, um, it also came with acetate, um, a metal cutting plate, and um, foam that you could use to cut this out. And it's uh, like I said, an older one holiday die, holiday shaker die um, kit, and then it has instructions on how to put them together. So what I've done is I've made some embellishments, and I'll start with the shaker ones. This is the first one. I made a little pink tree for all you shabby people out there. Um, and I put seed beads and I already put those up. Some seed beads and some little flat white sequins. Don't know if you can see those in there or not, but there are some little flat white sequins in there. And then here is where I use those little flowers on sort of mimicking ornaments. So there's that one. Then I made the snowflake into and there's so ver they're ver versatile because there are a couple different insides that you could cut into like the snowflake um or you could have just had you could have made just a round ornament without a design in the middle and then it's a shaker and i have cut out some of the confetti in the snowflakes and you can see it better on the next one and then I cut out the ornament top and added that but there are little clear seed beads in here along with those little um, snowflakes the third one is a cute little snowman 
And here you can see the confetti better um, in this one. So I just use the same paper that this ornament is cut out of is what I use to cut out the confetti. And I put some little clear seed beads in here as well as some of the flat white sequins. And then I stamped his little face and then I put together the hat and then added the scarf around his neck. So those are just three embellishments that you can use. But I wanted to show you that you didn't have to make them shakers. Um, these two, I just did flat. I just cut out. And these are the two other examples, Joy and Noel, that you could cut into like that snowflake. So I just created a back circle. And then I did the Joy and the Noel. And then I added those, just glued them on there flat and added a little bow, a resin bow. And I think I got that from um, Lisa in her shop um, when she has the sales on Instagram. I think that came from a package from her. And then finally, um, when you cut out the pieces of this, you get like the circles from the inside here with the foam. Um, this is the piece that you cut the foam out with. So like you get this um, piece in the center. And then when you cut out the tree here, you have the three pieces there. So you could actually use those pieces for some other things. And then the confetti piece, um, you can use this as a background piece on a card or on another embellishment. You could also use it as a stencil. Then the pieces that came out of the tree. Ah, oh, my power just went off. <laughs> so lovely, lovely, lovely. Um I will hopefully finish this video and okay, my power came back on. So, <laughs> only when you do live stuff. Anyway, what I was saying is that um, you could use those pieces and like here, you could stack them together and use them on something else to make kind of like the abstract tree. You could stack them a little closer like this and have a tree like that and use that on a card. So there you go. And then for the piece that came out of the foam, out of the center and see it's just foam on the back there is a piece of it's double-sided so it has sticky on both sides so this is just the back and it'll peel off and you can stick this on but i used the cosmic shimmer i took the top um piece off and then i used that co cosmic shimmer and a uh, sponge and just kind of rubbed it in there and so this is what you get so this piece you could use so many of the pieces that are cut out to do different things and it makes it more versatile to be able to get more um use out of your dies so anyway that is july's diamond heart darling collaboration i will be back and of course, this is in honor of Christmas in July. I did not say that. That is why we have Christmas embellishments. This is my first Christmas in July project. And it is for this collab. So I've rattled on a little discombobulated since the electricity went out. But I will be fine. It's back on. And you all have a great and a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.